Like the video or I'll kick your waifu in the face. Sorry, that wasn't very nice or funny even. Honestly, it was horrible. Just like me. I'm, I'm just gonna go. Part 2. Verdant Wind. Pegasus Moon. Forgotten Hero. This map is a slugfest, and I love it. And it may just be because I'm still not tired of fighting demonic beasts, but I still think the map has merits beyond its new enemies. You are trapped in the corner surrounded by enemies, forest, and fog. Limited movement makes it more difficult to properly outmaneuver beasts. Not knowing how many beasts there are makes it hard to figure out when to use gambits. The beasts are a mix of doggies and armadillers. The doggies are fast and the armadillers are strong, and both have poison attacks, which makes it a lot harder to tank with. So I tended to rely on dodge tanking. Even then, I would take a decent amount of hits because the doggies are so fast and accurate. The hidden healers are dickheads, which I like as it makes chipping down beasts harder, and now you gotta spend more resources to take them out quickly. On top of trying to navigate the fog to properly save Marianne, without the rescue spell. This all mixes together to become a trial and error scenario that works well with the divine pulses. You can totally take out the boss in the first couple of rounds. I ain't about to try it though, cause getting through the fog and the forest and the army of beasts creeping up on you, the bodyguard beasts that move when you touch the boss, I, I don't have 10 flyers, I'm sorry, what do you want from me? But yeah, it's totally possible, go for it, it'll be fine. But that's it. Fun map. Fight the giant doggies. It's still fun to fight him. Movement's tight. Just just use your brain. It becomes a little slow, cleaning up the last couple of doggos, and there's nothing interesting included besides fighting puppers. But still really solid. 8 out of 10. Mary Ann's in the top 5 girls in 3 houses. Shut up. Fuck you. Fight me. Bye. Armadillers.